everyone, welcome to a hot tool session. Today, I'm going to be creating beach vibes. So, the first thing to discuss is the preparation of the hair. So I've already prepped the hair all the way through and I've used uh, obviously shampoo and cleanse, but I didn't use a conditioner uh, that I rinsed out. <clears throat> I used a leave-in conditioner, followed by thermal protection spray, and then I've used a thermally activated setting lotion to aid in holding the style in place once we've actually done it. I then dried the hair using the volumizer from Hot Tools. This is oval in shape, and that means that I can get right in to the very, very roots of the hair with the narrow part, and then the large surface here dries the hair. Okay, this is a vented surface, so it gives a clear uh, airflow through the uh, uh, blow dryer, and it works from inside out, giving maximum elevation. So I've done this throughout the whole head, ready for using the electrical styling tool. The tool I'm going to use is the Curl Bar uh, 25mm from the Curl Bar set. However, this is available as a single standalone unit, but this one is interchangeable. The one that stands alone isn't interchangeable. So the first thing I do is turn this on. I then set the temperature. Now I've set the temperature using this dial here at 180 degrees. I then hold this in just for a few seconds and this now changes to a timer. Again, using this dial, I set the time between one and 10 seconds. I've set this for eight seconds. When we section to create this style, we take a section from the center here all the way through the occipital into the nape to divide the head into two clear front side to right and left hand side. We then wind using a flat wrap, which I'm going to show in a moment, with three inches drop at the root and leaving three inches out at the ends. And we do all the sections away from the face. So this way we wind that way, this way we're going to wind that way. Uh, so let's start here on this first section. So I'm just going to take the vertical section out and we'll get rid of that and we'll use this tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this round so that hopefully you get a really good view. So as I said, flat wrap. So just three inches drop, flat wrap. Around, flat. Around and flat. And then leave this out. Click the timer. Once the timer goes off, I'm going to push this downwards and out so that I do get some movement on the very ends of the air. The ends of the air are not completely straight. So just like that and just bring it down. So I'm just going to work this now through this front section on this side. So again, just taking a good section, make sure I put all of that hair in there at a slight angle three inches from the root, flat wrap the hair, leaving the end out, click the timer on eight seconds, 180 degrees. Once that goes off like that, we can, you don't have to hear the timer. It does actually vibrate in your hand to tell you that you are ready now to move on to your next section and just let that drop and cool. Uh, down again, really good section here. Just smoothing it out a little bit between the hands, flat wrap, and away from the face toward the center. And then just bring it down. You get this beautiful drop curl. And then, as we're working through here, I'll just point out that you obviously start in the nape of the neck and work through in circular oval movements and sections. Uh, I've only got one, two, three, and then this last one, the final one, four sections. 
Make sure you do apply, in, apply enough tension for this to work. Yeah, so we can continue this through this side, then we'll swap over and we'll do the other side. Let's turn this around again so that normally, obviously, we would work around the client, uh, but to give you a clear view, I'm just going to keep turning the stand around. Now, notice that while I'm winding this flat, I'm holding the hair away from the bar. In other words, the distance between me and the bar is greater than if I was twist wrapping. When I'm twist wrapping, we hold it closer to the bar to create the twist. And we do the pulse and time uh, technique. But on this one, we actually hold it away from the bar so that we get a really good flat section around the bar itself. And a curl bar is used for many, many different looks. Uh, symmetrical, asymmetrical, um, natural urban, or urban natural. And these videos are available at, at Hot Tools for education. We've also produced some videos now which show the technicalities of the, the curl bar and technicalities of the Evolve Styler as well. So round to this side and again smooth this hair and I'll do it this way so that I'm clearly showing you what I am doing. Yeah so all these videos are now available on the Hot, uh, the Hot Hill site and YouTube for you to work your magic and use these techniques to create great styles. <clears throat> Three inches drop or in centimetres um, probably about six and the same on the end we'll leave out. Um, keep your thumb at 8 seconds, 180 degrees and just gently bring it through, put it into place, beautiful. And you can see, this doesn't take very long at all, especially if you only do four, four sections from the nape. So the, the ends aren't that straight look. Some people love that look now, uh, but on this particular style, I have to admit, I like a little bit of movement in the very end. So probably three more sections here, and then we're going to allow this to cool down for around 10 minutes. Okay everybody, welcome back. We've now given this 10 minutes to cool down and I'll allow the hydrogen links to bond into the shape that we put into there. Now I'm going to dress this out. There are different ways and different products to dress this out. We could use a wire tooth comb, we could use some dust, we could use dry hairspray. I'm going to resort to my favourite all-time dressing product, my hands. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of matte paste. To my hands. Now it's important that we work this into the hands and through the fingers so that it goes on very evenly. And you can see it's no longer white on my hands, it's there, but it's actually absorbed it's all over the hands. So now we're going to start just bringing our hands through this very gently, just separating some of these curls. Remember what the look is, it's a beach vibe. So that means that it's not dumb, it's not too organized, too smooth. 
and very very rustic type of a curl so make sure you work from inside the hair as well as outside the hair okay I'm just going to turn this around a little bit so again you're just coming through the hair nicely separating these curls loosening it off working from underneath allowing the paste that's on my hands to work into the hair to give it a, a gritty type of a, a feel to it so that you get that real beachy type sea salt spray coming off the beach type look and because we're doing it this way with the the paste and we're making sure that it's been evenly distributed across my hands we don't get any white white looks in the hair which is a horrible thing to happen and then of course the paste in one place and having to work through to try to get it back out let's keep working outside inside separating these curls just keep working at it until you get in the look that you want from there and there we have the end result lovely soft not done really loose types of wave and curl and finish i hope you like it play with it do it your way use the 32 mil use the 25 use the 38 whichever you feel the type of pattern you want beach vibes from hot tools thank you